It's been a little more than a year since four of the six dams on the Klamath River came down, the largest river restoration project in U.S. history. And spoiler alert, it's going pretty well for the river. I'll get back to that awesome salmon in a sec. One of the biggest changes on the Klamath has been river temperature. Returning salmon use less energy when the water's colder, meaning they're healthier and they have more energy left for the good stuff upstream. When the dams were in place, the reservoirs acted like heat batteries. They got hot over the summer and just kept releasing warm water all fall long, keeping river temps unnaturally high, just as salmon were making their way upstream. Now with a year of post-dam data, scientists are seeing river temperatures more naturally influenced by the weather, getting colder when it matters most. And obviously, something's going right on the Klamath. Fish from the Fall Chinook Run are moving upstream, breaking record after record. First, passing by one of the two remaining dams, then over the fish ladder at the second, then into Upper Klamath Lake. And now, incredibly, the Chinook have moved into the tributaries above the lake for the first time in more than a century. That's cool. <laughs> 